In this video, we will walk through the steps required to upgrade InterSystems Iris Data Platform, InterSystems Iris for Health, or HealthShare Health Connect from a version that uses the InterSystems private web server to a version that uses an industry standard web server installed locally on the system. We will show this process in Windows using InterSystems Iris, but the same process can be followed for the other products. Microsoft Internet Information Services, or IIS, should be used on Windows so that it can be automatically configured on upgrade. Our current instance uses the private web server. In the management portal, you can see that the URL specifies the location and port used by this instance. Once we upgrade and start using IIS, the URL will look slightly different. The web server must be enabled first, followed by the upgrade of the InterSystems product. To enable IIS, open Control Panel and click Programs and Features. Then click the link to turn Windows features on or off. You may be prompted for your credentials. Select Internet Information Services to enable it. If you plan to use debugging within VS Code for an instance, you must also enable WebSockets. To do so, within IIS, expand Worldwide Web Services, then Application Development Features and select WebSocket protocol. Some links may also require HTTP redirection after upgrade. To ensure that this is possible, select HTTP redirection under common HTTP features. Now that you have a web server ready to use, you can perform the product upgrade. In this example, InterSystems Iris. First, stop your instance. Then locate the installation file of the new version in Windows Explorer and double-click the file to execute it. When prompted, select your existing instance to perform an upgrade. The installer checks if there is a local IIS web server. Since we have already enabled IIS in this example, we will be asked if we would like to use this web server to connect to the installation. If you did not previously enable IIS and the installer does not find a web server, it will warn you that no local web server was found and ask if you would like to abort the installation. In this case, you can either abort the installation and enable IIS before starting again, or you can complete the installation and configure a web server manually later. It is recommended that you allow the installer to automatically configure the web server, unless you are using a central web server that is not on the same machine as the instance installation. In that case, manual configuration is required. If you have IIS enabled, select Configure Local IIS Web Server for this instance, then click Next, then Upgrade. Note that the installer is configuring the web server as part of the installation. This step disables the private web server, but does not delete it. You can re-enable the private web server in the future if necessary. Once the installation is complete, Open the management portal from the InterSystems Iris Launcher to confirm that the web server was configured correctly. Note that the URL for the management portal no longer includes a port number since all instances use the same web server. Instead, the instance name is used as an identifier. For any instance that does not use the private web server, the structure of the management portal URL is now http colon slash slash server slash instance name slash csp slash sys slash utilhome.csp. For more information about this process, as well as steps to migrate custom configurations from the private web server to your new web server, visit docs.intersystems.com.